If we compare Earth to Venus and Mars, it's easy to see the difference between our habitable planet and planets that are not considered habitable. Venus has an average surface temperature of around 450 degrees Celsius, and Mars has a surface temperature of around minus 50 degrees Celsius. Neither of these temperatures are suitable for the presence of life. Earth, on the other hand, has maintained a relatively stable and mild temperature for billions of years, making animal and plant life possible. A habitable planet is defined, according to NASA, as one that can sustain life for a significant period. And how does a planet go about actually doing that? To start our desperate hunt for a planet more habitable than Earth, it's important to understand what exactly makes a planet habitable in the first place. Why is Earth suited for supporting life when neighboring planets such as Mars or Venus aren't? The Earth is dying, and if humanity doesn't make any other plans, we'll die too. Where can we live if not here? Are there planets in the universe even better for human habitation than the planet where humanity began? And if we can't get there in time, is there any real hope of using technology to terraform our neighbor planets? We better find out quickly, or we're all going to be in deep cosmic trouble. Life, at least according to our solar system, requires liquid water, energy, and nutrients. So, a planet must have the conditions for all of these things in order to be considered habitable. Generally, a habitable planet must be close enough to its star to be warm, but not too hot. It must have gravity similar to that on Earth and have liquid water. Several other factors make Earth especially suited to life. Earth has a stable rotation with regular and frequent days and nights that help to encourage life and prevent extreme temperatures in most places. The planet has a strong magnetic field, protecting it from solar flares. The ozone layer shields animal life from potentially deadly radiation. The Earth's sun is a yellow dwarf, making it both small and stable. Larger stars than the sun burn hotter and faster, whereas smaller stars than the sun tend to emit large bursts of radiation. The presence of Jupiter, the nearby gas giant, catches asteroids and comets in its strong gravity, preventing most of them from being pulled toward Earth. Overall, it's not a bad place to live. But if we look beyond our solar system, we might just find that there are planets out there even better suited for life than this big blue marble we all know and love. These planets, known as superhabitable planets, are exoplanets, or planets outside of our solar system, that could hypothetically be even better at supporting life than Earth. The concept of superhabitable planets was first introduced by Rene Heller and John Armstrong in 2014, and since then, they've become a hot-button topic in astronomical circles. On October 5th, 2020, researchers at Washington State University published a study identifying 24 potential superhabitable planets out of the 4,000 currently known exoplanets. The researchers found that ignoring superhabitable planets just because Earth is plain old habitable is probably an act of laziness and bias on humanity's part. Settling for the bare minimum rather than trying to understand just how much better things can be out there. But most intriguing of all, a superhabitable planet and an Earth-like planet might not necessarily be the same thing. In only searching for Earth-like exoplanets, we might be missing something even better. That's right. These scientists were on a quest not just to find a place like Earth, but somewhere that is potentially completely different from our own home planet while also being an even better home for us than Earth ever was. Yeah, now things are getting crazy. The notion of planets that are better for life than Earth, while being potentially quite different from Earth, can be difficult to wrap one's head around. Dirk Schulze Makuch, an astrobiologist at Washington State University and the Technical University of Berlin, 
and the leader of the 2020 study said in a statement, it's sometimes difficult to convey this principle of super habitable planets because we think we have the best planet. We have a great number of complex and diverse life forms and many that can survive in extreme environments. It is good to have an adaptable life, but that doesn't mean that we have the best of everything. So, what might be the differences between Earth and these super habitable planets? According to the study, they would be older, larger, warmer, and potentially wetter than Earth, possibly orbiting stars older than the Sun and with longer lifespans than the Sun as well. But how did the researchers reach these conclusions, let alone identify the most habitable planets of the bunch? For comparison, Earth is only 4.5 billion years old. The researchers determined other factors that could contribute to making a planet super habitable such as being a little bit larger than Earth, around 10%. These planets would have a longer-lasting radioactive decay at their center, providing heat, and their stronger gravity would allow the planet to maintain its atmosphere longer. Of course, there's something else that all life on Earth needs to survive. Water. What's the water situation on these hypothetical, superhabitable planets? Well, planets a little bit warmer than Earth with a mean surface temperature about 5 degrees Celsius higher than that of Earth and with more moisture in the air could be much more habitable. Researchers posited that this environment could be similar to that of Earth's tropical rainforests, which house a wide variety of diverse life forms. Another potential characteristic of superhabitable planets would be a similar amount of land area to Earth, but broken up into smaller continents. If the land masses are too large, their centers will be too far from bodies of water, creating vast swaths of harsh desert. Schulze Makuch and the other researchers identified 24 potential superhabitable planets, but none of them met all of the criteria suggested. One planet, however, did meet at least two. What's Eden's name? Oh, it's a beautiful one. Kauai 5715.01. In all seriousness, what makes Koi 5725.01 so special? It's a planet with an age of about 5.5 billion years. It's between 1.8 and 2.4 times Earth's diameter and orbits an orange dwarf around 2965 light years away. It may have an average surface temperature around 2.4 degrees Celsius cooler than that on Earth. But if this planet has more greenhouse gases that can trap heat, it could qualify as superhabitable. Another potential superhabitable planet is KOI 4878.01. This planet is orbiting an F-type star, slightly smaller than the Sun, with a temperature of around 6,031 K. The planet's mass is somewhere between 1.4 and 3.0 Earth masses and has an average surface temperature around 2.4 degrees C less than Earth's. It has more greenhouse gases than Earth, making up for this lower temperature with a capacity to trap heat. So friends, what do you think about this topic? Write your views in the comments section. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to get interesting videos. If you like the video, please like and share the video.